talk about the fact that God loves us so much that he's already designed us with certain desires and likes. He's going to destroy all the bad stuff in us. He's going to enhance the good stuff in us. That means the things that we like, he's not going to destroy that either. He's going to enhance that. Everything's going to be enhanced because he's a loving God. That's right. All right? And therefore, this new earth that he's preparing for us, he already knows what we like. He already knows the things that we have desires for. Why? Because he gave them to us. And he's going to fulfill those. And then he says, it's going to be beyond anything that we can even dream about. Hmm. Pascal, the great mathematician and, and scientist, said, all men seek happiness. That is built into our nature to seek happiness. It is something that comes from God. The problem is not that we seek happiness. The problem is we seek happiness in the wrong places broken cisterns that can hold no water. Instead, we need to be seeking happiness where it can be found, in Jesus Christ, in God, the creator of the universe. He is the fountainhead of all happiness. And then there are the lower streams of happiness that C.S. Lewis spoke of, that we experience down here. And what we need to do to really enjoy those in the way that we're intended to enjoy them, to not turn them into idols, is to trace them back to where they came from so that we look from them to Him. God is the source of all that is good. God is the source of all that makes us happy. He is the fulfiller of our dreams. To see His face will be to be in relationship with the creator of the universe. Scripture talks about the master who welcomes his servant and says, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into your master's happiness, a happiness that predated the creation of the world itself, a happiness that has existed always in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God says, not just go find your happiness somewhere, but enter into my happiness, my delight in my creation, my delight in myself, my delight in you as my children. And to learn how to start a relationship with Jesus Christ, go to our website at jashow.org and click on Pray to Accept Jesus Christ as Your Savior.